Gentlemen, we have called you together to inform you that we are going to overthrow the United States government. You still think that jet fuel brought down the World Trade Center? Does anybody else see a problem here? If the government has nothing to hide, why are they so afraid to answer a few questions? This story does not add up. Surely you have the, 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 the creative ability to create a life without going through this friggin' sausage machine. Come on, we can do this. We don't need the bloody system. <laughs> Perception control. This is, this is a major thing that's going on. They're creating an electromagnetic sub-reality to f talk to us within the frequency of human brainwave and electromagnetic activity. Um, and this is what these are about. First of all, America, Britain, anyone else listening, we need a massive no-compliance rebellion against these freaking things. Watch the word smart. Big red alert. Smart is the buzzword of Agenda 21. It talks about smart meters, smart grids, smart cities, human settlement zones. Smart growth, smart drugs, smart frickin' ass. That's when it, when he's talking about smart Agenda 21. And what is this bloody old thing? This is in their own bloody documents, not bloody, you know, sitting in a darkened room working this out, bloody telling you. This is a plan to create eventually a global smart grid. And what the smart meters are, as part of the smart grid, they create, in effect, a electromagnetic internet, wireless internet, in your home, very, very uh, bad for health, especially the young. And also, it's about not only picking up information from your home and delivering that information to a central source, but also uh, bringing information into your home within the human brainwave and electromagnetic uh, frequencies to speak to you uh, subconsciously and deliver you with the perceptions that they want. Let's look at this. This is um, CIA director David Petraeus in a speech he made or a talk he talked about the uh, Internet of Things. This is what he said. Uh, Items of interest will be located, identified, monitored and remotely controlled through technologies such as radio frequency identification, microchips, sensor networks, tiny embedded servers and energy harvesters, all connected to the next generation of internet uh, uh, using uh, abundant, low-cost and high-power computing that would transform the art of spying and allow people to be monitored and automatically, uh, automatically without planting bugs or direct infiltration. He said that this involved new technologies which added processes and web connections to previously home appliances um, like fridges, ovens, lighting systems, remember that for a second, this is known as the Internet of Things. Petraeus has confirmed that people would be watched through televisions, these are Orwell's tele uh, screens. So the idea of the smart meters is to create this, en this energetic environment, this information environment, which is delivering information about you, to the authorities and delivering information from the authorities at the subconscious level to speak to you. The smart grid is watching you. And the idea then is to connect these grids in different countries into a global grid. They talk about it in their documents. And, you know, on just the, um, uh, 
The health dangers alone, especially to children. Uh, this is the American Academy of Environmental Medicine. The board of AAEM opposes the installation of smart meters in homes and schools based on scientific assessment of the current medical literature, which raises credible questions about genetic and cellular effects, hormonal effects, male fertility, yes, blood-brain barrier damage, and increased risk of certain types of cancers from um, RF or ELF levels similar to those emitted from smart meters. The board finds it unacceptable from a public health standpoint to implement this technology until these serious medical concerns are resolved. We consider a moratorium of installation of wireless smart meters to be an issue of the highest importance. Ignored because why? It's the agenda for Agenda 21. This lady uh, thought she'd go green. She doesn't have to quite yet, with a, with a, but they wanted to very shortly in America with these uh, green anything but uh, bulbs. Um, which are now being imposed upon us in Europe, of course, and other places around the world. And uh, she thought she'd buy some of these things, these uh, bulbs that got mercury in them. And she put one in her daughter's bedroom. And uh, it broke. So she called Home Depot and asked them what she should do. And they said, well, you better call the state authorities and they'll tell you. And they told her she had to employ this private company to come and clean up her uh, daughter's bedroom of this uh, contamination from mercury and it cost her $2,000 for one light bulb. And if you look at the British health uh, advice and regulations for these things when they break, it's do everything but evacuate your bloody home. It is ludicrous. These mercury bulbs are gonna go and are going onto um, uh, you know, open bloody uh, rubbish sites and tips and they're going to break of course they are and the, the mercury's going to get in the groundwater supplies and all that stuff um, and, and we're talking billions and billions that are used around the world um, and the other thing about this you know what that is that is a transmitter of information that's what that is and I'll, I'll tell you what I mean um, red flag when any authority doesn't say we encourage you to use these but says, no, no, you are going to use these because we're going to ban the bloody alternative. That's what they've done with these bulbs. And, because, uh, and when they do that, it's the agenda. Uh, and when it's the agenda, it is more than what seems to be the case, and it's always about human control and, and often increasingly uh, destroying human health. The woodpecker signal came about, I think it was in the 1970s, came to light, and it was a signal that the Soviet Union was um, broadcasting into America, and they called it the um, woodpecker signal because it was going rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, like, a, like a, a woodpecker. And what it was doing was delivering subliminal information into America to affect the perceptions of Americans. Um, and these two um, guys, Dr. Robert Beck, an expert in nuclear engineering, and Dr. Michael Pessinger of the Laurentian University in Canada, an expert in extremely low frequency radiation. They made a study of the potential of electromagnetic mind control. This is what the smart meters are, electromagnetic mind control. Uh, Dr. Beck told a Psychotronics Association conference in 1979, that long ago, that human subjects exposed to certain ELF field patterns reported sensations of uneasiness, depression, and foreboding. He said that he had measured the Russian woodpecker signal and found that it was acting like gangbusters right in the window of human psychoactivity. Exactly. Get in there by going on the same frequency the bloody brain works on. Now, here's the point. He said the signal, was, uh, the woodpecker signal, was permeating power grids in the United States. It was being picked up by power lines, re-radiated, and it was coming into homes on the light circuits. Now that was doing that in a light circuit electrical system that was not purpose built for the job. The smart meters and the smart grids are purpose built deliverers of subliminal information into every home and business that is involved in them. If we don't say no to this, then might as well put our bloody hands out and get the shackles on. Come on, enough! <laughs> 
James in North Carolina. You want to talk about 2012? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, good to talk to you again. It's been a couple months. Um, and uh, I'd also called in in reference to the uh, information you guys were putting out in regards to the Colorado case. Um, you may recall um, I called in a little while ago, actually, and gave you some information on a uh, DARPA program called Crossing the Threshold. Um, we talked about actually the thought barrier being broken by DARPA and, and, and uh, using white particles to actually be able to do it and, and manipulate people and and uh, take over using mind control. Oh, well, there are, yeah. I mean, as Dr. Begich says, uh, a prestigious scientist, uh, the chemical stuff is old. That's 1940s, 50s Soviet technology stolen by the CIA and perfected to a higher level. Not quite perfected, but, but brought close to it. Yeah, with the brain chips and things, it's total. I mean, 30 years ago, they had ro roaches that were remote control. Uh, 20 years ago, they had robo rats that were remote control. Yeah, they can put brain chips in and have you do whatever you're told. Yeah, well, actually, it even goes a step beyond that. Now, the uh, the ability they have is actually using light particles and light beams. Um, they can actually achieve thought profiling and transfer into any language. Um, no, I know, they, 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 because the brain program works in a flicker rate, and then they can now transmit data through the eyes directly to the brain. That's why they're in government buildings putting in the lights that, quote, communicate with the computers at a flash rate that can't be perceived consciously. And then I went and found the patents now, Dr. Begich on. It's actually programmers. They're actually programming now under federal grants, mainly in police departments, to test and see if they can put police under mind control. Yes, sir, and I had actually spoke with you on this previously, and, and uh uh, work in the insurance industry and actually have uh, had some information sent over from a company that's participating in this. Uh, they gave some information out and, and said basically that uh, we're going to be able to communicate with animals. Uh, they can do all this stuff, you know, simultaneously while, uh, you know, achieving thought profiling of, actual, of, of people without them knowing. No, I know. You know. Uh, actually, you're saying that this is, uh, you. why don't you send over anything that isn't proprietary or classified? I know you're an insurance, so it's not. Send it on over. We're media. Send it to showtips at infowars.com. But I am aware of all this, and I am aware of its deployment uh, all over. I mean, that's why the elite are so arrogant right now. The public is already in a trance. Some people are resistant or immune to this, and that's why we're still able to operate. I mean, that's why, folks, it's so far gone. I mean, that's why celebrity doesn't matter. Attacks on me don't matter. Uh, none of it, 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 it. Once you know reality, none of this facade even matters anymore. And, and they haven't perfected all this stuff. They're testing it on us right now. And I just want to say to all the minions of this system, if you want your free will and consciousness taken, don't fight this. Because they're just going to try to get us in a catatonic state to then release the bioweapons to reduce our numbers over 90%. Anything else, sir? Uh, yes. Right now, it's it's on uh, basically like a one-on-one -on -one type of basis. The people they used to thought profile can only do it. They, they can't do it on a mass scale yet. So, I mean, like you were just saying, before it gets to the point where they can actually, you know, systematically put something in place or a computer program, you know, where it can do it on a mass scale. I mean, this is a time where... Well, I mean, take San Antonio. It's a test ground. You've heard for three years how the Pentagon put AI cameras in to track the calories to even scan an apple when a child eats it and then put it in a file. The, the, what's really going on is they've put those light bulbs in in that San Antonio school. I have that from inside the school. The, the first one they did it, and the, the computers are actually testing the children under the fluorescent lights. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so far gone, folks. We're so far gone. I have been inside major universities. I've had scientists on. I've broken it down. So much of the focus by the globalist is on flicker rates with lights. And now they can interface and transmit d data directly to the brain. In fact, I mean, it was in mainstream news, what, two weeks ago that scientists use light patterns to program brain. And I mean, so, but, but they're now announcing what's old. The point is just like the, you have a cell phone and it listens to you even when it's off. And they admit the NSA now does that. I told you 16 years ago, they now admit it just the last few years. They tell you way after they think that you've habitualized its use, that you have a total habit and will accept it. It's all animal training. It's all domestication. And everything is how to program you with these lights. And uh, 